Welcome, I'm Linda. This video is a trauma-sensitive yoga practice that adheres to the principles of invitation and inquiry. So what I mean by that is everything in the practice is an invitation. If there's anything that I'm guiding you through that doesn't feel appropriate in your body, then you're welcome to do something different or to pause the video and resume when you do feel comfortable in your body. So it's really designed to put you in charge and to rebuild a sense of empowerment in your own body. The inquiry piece is that I'll be inviting you to inquire into the sensations in your body as we move through the practice. Whether one side feels a little different than the other and what differences you, you notice in your body. And the purpose of that is the awareness of the sensations in your body is your primary link to the present moment. So if you have a history of trauma in your past and you get triggered and are drawn back into that past traumatic memory, being able to stay present uh, through the sensations in your body is a really key uh, capacity. So this particular flow is all standing poses. So that it's really intended to give you a sense of groundedness in your body, a sense of power and control in your body. If at any time you feel vulnerable in your body during this practice, then stop the practice. So I recommend you put your mat long ways, like I have my mat here, and uh, let's begin. So beginning in standing mountain, your feet are hip distance apart, your knees and your toes are pointing forward, and just taking a moment to really feel your feet on the floor. So not thinking about feeling your feet on the floor, but feeling the soles of your feet in contact with the earth. And drawing that strong energy up through your feet into your legs, your legs are strong and supporting you. And gently sliding your tailbone down, just gently sliding the tailbone down toward the earth a little bit. And opening up across the front of your body, opening up across the front of the collarbones. Strong back, open heart. So this is your standing mountain. If at any time during your practice what I'm guiding you through doesn't feel appropriate for you, please feel free to come back into standing mountain. And on your next inhale, drawing that earth energy up, bathing the front of your body in that earth energy on the inhale. And on the exhale, a little flex in the knees as you press that energy back into the earth. And we'll repeat this movement three more times, inhaling, drawing the energy up through the front of the body. And exhaling as you ground your energy into the earth. Taking that two more times, inhaling to Extend the body and exhaling to ground. And one final time. And exhaling to ground. This time on the inhale, taking the arms out to the sides, expanding the body on the inhale. And exhale, drawing the energy back in towards your body. We'll take that three more times, inhaling to expand, and exhaling, little flex in the knees as you ground the energy into the earth. And taking that two more times. And one final time, inhaling to expand, and exhaling, drawing the energy in toward the body, sweeping the arms up overhead. Great big inhale as you reach the fingertips to the ceiling. And exhale as the arms float back down alongside your body. And we'll take this movement three more times, inhaling as you reach the arms to the ceiling. Really lengthening in the body, feeling the ribs opening up and exhaling as you allow the arms to float back down alongside your body. And taking that two more times. And one more time, coordinating the breath with the movement, inhaling the arms overhead. This time we'll leave the arms overhead, reaching the fingertips for the ceiling, pausing here. We'll pause here for three breaths. So allowing the shoulders to soften for two more breaths. 
And one more breath. And on your next inhale, coming up onto your tiptoes. So taking the heels off the ground and noticing how that changes things. All the little micro movements your body's doing to support you in this balancing position. And if you fall out of the balancing position, that's okay. Just come back in whenever you're ready. And slowly lowering the heels, reaching the fingertips for the ceiling again on your inhale. And on your exhale, arcing over to the left, taking your gaze through that right armpit, and we'll pause here for three breaths. And reaching the fingertips to the side wall for two more breaths. And one more breath, keeping the weight equal on both feet. And inhaling your way through center, exhaling right on over to the opposite side, reaching the fingertips to the opposite side as you take your gaze toward the ceiling and we'll pause here for three breaths. And two more breaths as you equal out the weight on both feet, pressing the left hip toward the left wall for one more breath. And inhaling your way to center, exhaling as you allow the arms to float back down alongside your body. And taking a moment here to pause, you're welcome to move and shift the body in any way that feels intuitive for you. And taking your attention inward, noticing the effect of that series of movements. And then taking the feet wide and bringing the arms up to shoulder height, coming into a five-pointed star. So we'll pause here for a moment. Just giving yourself the chance to feel the energy through the five points of your star, the energy coming up into your feet, into your legs. Your legs are strong and supporting you. The energy extending out through the fingertips and the energy coming up right through the central channel of your body, right into your crown. As you take one more breath here, and taking a big breath in, and on your exhale, bending the knees, bending the elbows, coming into a victory squat, and inhaling back into five-pointed star. So we'll make that a little dynamic, a little rhythmic on the breath, taking a big breath in, and exhaling as you bend the elbows and bend the knees, inhaling back into five-pointed star. We'll take that two more times. Exhaling to bend the elbows and bend the knees. Inhaling into five-pointed star. And one final time, bending the elbows, bending the knees. Then coming back into your five-pointed star, recreating your five-pointed star here, feeling the energy coursing through your body and noticing where sensation is present for you. And then lowering the arms, spinning the left heel out, and the right toes are pointing forward to the front edge of your mat, raising the arms overhead, and then turning the hips to face that short edge of your mat. And when you feel ready, bending that right knee, coming into a warrior one position here. So we'll pause here for three breaths, giving you a chance to really explore the power and shape of your warrior one. Reaching the fingertips for the ceiling for two more breaths. And softening the shoulders for one more breath. And on an inhale, windmilling the arms out, coming into a warrior two position. So the arms are out at shoulder height. Your gaze is over the right fingertips. The right knee is pressing out and you're pressing energetically into the outside edge of that back foot. And on an inhale, straightening the leg, bringing the palms together overhead and exhaling back into your warrior. We'll take that two more times, inhaling to reach and exhaling into your warrior. And one final time, inhaling to reach and exhaling into your warrior, pausing here just for one breath. 
And if you like taking the gaze through center and over the back fingertips and just noticing the difference. And again, if you like taking the gaze back through center, straightening out the front leg, reaching those front fingertips for the front edge of your mat. And when you feel ready, rotating the torso, coming into a triangle position. So the right hand comes down onto your ankle or a block or the floor and the left fingertips reach for the ceiling. And we'll pause here just for one more breath. And inhaling your way right back up into your warrior if that feels appropriate for you. And as you feel ready, taking the left hand down the back of the left leg, right arm comes overhead, coming into a reverse warrior. And then bringing that right elbow to the front knee and the left arm comes over the left ear coming into a side angle. So if you like, we'll put these two movements together, coordinating the movement with the breath, inhaling your way through center, exhaling, sliding the left hand down the back leg, right arm comes over the right ear into reverse warrior. Inhaling through center, exhaling into your side angle. And we'll take that one more time, inhaling through center, exhaling into reverse warrior. And inhaling through center, exhaling into your side angle. And then as you feel ready, coming right back up, recreating your warrior two just for one breath. And straightening the legs, releasing the arms, pointing both sets of toes to the long edge of your mat and just taking a moment to feel the sensations in your body. Feel the, the effect of that series of warrior postures on that side before we move to the other side. Maybe one side feels a little different than the other. Just noticing what sensations are present for you, noticing the quality of your breathing. Can you feel your heart beating? And as you feel ready, we'll take that series to the opposite side, spinning the right heel back, left toes point forward. And again, as you feel ready, inhaling the arms overhead, and then turning to face the opposite short edge of your mat. And again, at your own pace, bending in that left knee, coming into your warrior one here. And we'll pause here just for two breaths giving yourself a chance to explore warrior one on this side, noticing how it might feel different on this side than it did on the other side. And taking one more breath here. And when you feel ready, inhaling your way right into your warrior two. So windmilling the arms around, the arms are extended out at shoulder height and your gaze is over the left fingertips. And we'll pause here, just giving yourself a moment, pausing just for one more breath, pressing that left knee open, pressing energetically into the outer edge of the back foot. And then when you feel ready, straightening the front leg, inhaling the palms together overhead, and exhaling back into your warrior. So if you like, we'll take that two more times, inhaling to reach, and exhaling to ground. And one final time, inhaling to reach and exhaling to ground. And then here, if you like, taking the gaze through center over the back fingertips. And once again, bringing the gaze back through center over the front fingertips. And moving at your pace, straightening the front leg, reaching the left fingertips to the front of your mat and rotating the torso coming into your triangle position on this side so the left hand reaches for the floor or a block or your shin the right fingertips reach for the ceiling and then if you can taking your gaze toward the ceiling otherwise taking the gaze to a more neutral position is fine and again noticing how triangle could feel different on this side than it did on the other side 
Taking one more breath here. And then inhaling your way right back into your warrior as you feel ready. And using this as your base to come into our reverse warrior series. So when you feel ready, inhaling, sliding the right hand down the back leg as you inhale into your reverse warrior here. And exhaling into side angle, elbow to knee, opposite arm over the ear. So if you like, just as we did on the other side, we'll put those movements together, coordinating the breath with the movement. Inhaling through center, exhaling into your reverse warrior. And inhaling through center, exhaling into side angle. So taking that two more times on the breath, inhaling through center, exhaling into reverse warrior. And inhaling through center, exhaling into side angle. And then if you like, one more time. And inhaling through center, exhaling into side angle. And as you feel ready, coming back to center, creating your warrior two just for one breath. And releasing the arms, straightening the legs, walking the feet together. And taking a moment to allow your attention to circulate throughout your body. Noticing the quality of your breathing. Noticing whether you feel more in balance now that we've done both sides. And as you feel ready, bending the knees, shifting the weight into your heels, taking the tailbone to the back wall, as though you were sitting in an imaginary chair, then bringing the arms up to shoulder height. And if you like, we'll pause here just for two breaths. So giving your chance to really feel the power in your legs as you draw that earth energy up from through the feet into the legs for one more breath. And releasing the arms, straightening the legs, and again, circulating your attention throughout your body, noticing where sensation is present for you. You're welcome to shift the body in any way that you like. So if you like, we'll take chair again and maybe change it up a little bit. So shifting the weight into the heels, taking the tailbone back, arms come up to shoulder height. And then if you like, lifting the heels off the ground, just as we did earlier. Coming into a balancing chair here and noticing all the little movements your body's making to sustain you here just for one more breath. And inhaling your way back to your standing mountain. If you're comfortable closing your eyes, you're welcome to do that and allow the awareness to circulate inside. And as you feel ready, clasping the hands behind your back, inhaling into a little bit of a back bend. And exhaling into a forward fold. And then as you feel ready, inhaling your way right back up into that chair that we just did. And exhaling to stand. So if you like, we'll put those movements together, coordinating the movement with the breath and make just a small flow out of it. Inhaling into a back bend. Exhaling into a forward fold. Inhaling into your chair as you unclasp your hands. And exhaling to stand. As you feel ready, we'll take that two more times. Inhaling into the back bend. And exhaling into the forward fold. Inhaling into your chair and exhaling to stand. Taking that one more time at your pace, inhaling into the back bend, and exhaling into the forward fold. Inhaling into your chair, and exhaling to stand. And again, taking your attention inward, noticing where sensation is present for you. And on an inhale, 
drawing the energy up the front of the body and exhaling as you press the energy back into the earth. If you like, we'll take that two more times. Just returning to where we began. One final time, inhaling the energy up the front of the body and exhaling to ground. Releasing the arms, returning to your standing mountain. Feeling the effects of this series of standing movements in your body. Where and how do you experience a sense of empowerment in your body? Feeling the flow of your breath. And taking that feeling of empowerment into the flow of your life. 